number 123 in the line, G.I. Joe Classified Series, we have Dread Knock Torch. Third member, finally, to our Dread Knock team, coming together real nice. We'll see what's up with Torch and how well Hasbro has put together this figure, and uh, we will do that on the other side. Welcome to GI Reviews. I am The Ruckus, and you guys already saw what was going on in the opener, so you know what we're dealing with here. We have number 123 in the classified series line of Hasbro GI Joe, and this is number three when it comes to the uh, trifecta, if you will, of the Dreadnoughts. We've gotten Ripper and Buzzer, and we've needed Torch in order to uh, complete the primary three of the Dreadnoughts, and we now have that. You see him as he's uh, on a rotating base, getting a good look, and he does look good. This is definitely uh, the uh, most aesthetically uh, banging out of the three, in my opinion. Everybody, you know, that's subjective. Um, so, of course, you, you may have... Uh, What's your favorite look? Not necessarily your favorite dreadnought, just your favorite look is what I'm talking about here. And right here, Torch is my favorite look. Uh, speaking of looking, you guys saw the uh, packaging uh, at the beginning. We've got the uh, side art, and then, of course, we've got the rear art, one of the uh, carryovers from the way how things used to be. We get, we get uh, action figure photography, which I am happy that that's still retained, even though with this new packaging. So, uh, yeah, and uh, that's uh, that's what goes down with uh, the packaging. A uh, new thing I'm going to start doing now is uh, I'm going to just show the clamshell of the, uh, you know, that, that comes in the packaging to basically show all of the accessories all the way. I'm going to turn it this way so that, that way it's not technically upside down because I'm going by uh, the side arm there. This is Torch. So he does have his sidearm. He does have his backpack uh, for his, uh, his uh, well, his Torch. And then right here is the dispenser or the gun, if you will, for the Torch. We've got a bunch of uh, flame effects. Underneath this flame effect right there is the tube or uh, conduit, cable, whatever you want to call it, uh, that uh, you connect up to the backpack and the uh, the dispenser, the actual weapon, the gun, the fire gun that uh, Torch is uh, known for. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, take a look at all of those out uh, of the uh, clamshell later on. But right now, what we're going to do is take a better look at our boy, Torch, as he's coming back around. So, um, take this look because we're going to uh, look at him a little bit closer than even this. And now we can get a look at some of this torchy goodness here that we got going on. First thing, of course, is uh, looking at the, uh, the head sculpt. One thing that's different from Buzzer and Ripper, uh, you know, they all have shades. Uh, this go round, uh, the shades on the uh, other two figures were technically, they were accessories. They were separate and uh, you'd have to um, put them on yourself. It was um, pretty uh, relatively easy to put on uh, Buzzer's shades. Ripper was an entirely different case um, because the ears were not uh, protruding out enough for the handles of the uh, glasses to fit on so it was uh, it took it, it took some work it takes some work to get them on but now Hasbro uh, on torch they're sculpted on and um, be considering that you I, I if I'm not mistaken we've never seen any of them really without their shades on I, I, you know I, they, I may be wrong about that but uh, in my mind's eye whenever I see any of the dreadnoughts the main three um, they always have shades on, so if the other two had their shades sculpted on, it wouldn't have uh, been a big deal to me. You've got the nice red uh, headband wrapped around. You've got uh, this uh, necklace with a, uh, basically it's a, uh, a skull of something. 
not necessarily human, I don't think. It doesn't look like it anyway, but it's something black. The It's painted silver. Pretty nice. We've got this nice vest. Hasbro did a nice thing on giving us paint on this black vest. We've got silver on the buckles, on the three buckles that connect the vest up. We've got silver for the zippers. We've got three sets of zippers, four sets of zippers, excuse me. We've got the chains. You got to love that. That's pretty cool. He's got a chain uh, for his belt. That's got some paint on it with a, an emblem right there, uh, right there on the buckle. And it carries over to the rear. His, uh, his uh, rear pockets have got flames uh, embroidered. They're painted, but I'm going to say embroidered on them. Pretty cool. Looking at the arms, I already mentioned he's got uh, chains on the... Uh, the uh, the sleeveless openings of his vest. He's got uh, on his left arm a uh, a guard with spikes and the spikes painted nice and uh, silver. He's gonna now. Here's where we go backwards. This is what this and for me. You guys, let me know what's going on before I even get to that. Uh, he let me raise his neck up. He's got a choker on and the choker is black, but it has silver paint too. The reason I had to go back to that is because what I'm about to say uh, really stands out because of it. He's got chains around his wrists. Now you see the chains and it's obvious even on camera, you can see the chains are just molded plastic, that great looking cheap plastic. That doesn't even go with the silver there and it definitely doesn't go, he's got chains on the outer, uh, you know, the sleeveless portions of his vest, right? You know what I'm saying? That, that That's just crazy. That's just crazy to me. What do you guys think? Oh, to the back again, just to further point that out and how egregious that is, he's got spikes on the back of his uh, vest, and they're painted silver, you know? Very good. I mean, Hasbro spared no expense with that, but then we get the cheap, uh, the cheap, wrappings for his uh, wrist chains. Uh, they're covering up his uh, flame fire tattoos there on his forelimbs. So that's pretty cool there. He's got um, his uh, holsters, thigh holsters there molded in black and they're just, uh, 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 they're, they're separate and they are not uh, glued down. So there is the danger of them sliding down. He's got his black boots there that have the uh, knee guards and uh, black all the way down so pretty cool like I said there's nothing other than what I showed you there's nothing else going on with the uh, with his uh, with his rear there so there's nothing else going on there as far as his articulation his head is on a, a dumbbell so you can look up about that far look down pretty far. I believe his neck, yep, his neck is on a, a dumbbell as well, so you can get more going down and going up as well, so you gotta love that. He's got nice tilt, and of course, you know he can 360 rotate arms, can definitely T-pose it. He can uh, rotate at the shoulders there. He does have a butterfly joint. It's kind of sm uh, small, smallish for a butterfly joint and hidden, and he can only rear back about that much. Clasp only about that much it's almost just a straight out thing i know the vest is partially impeding it but there wasn't much of a butterfly joint there to begin with he's got the bicep swivel double jointed pinless elbows uh i'm going to uh we're at the point where i don't even think i need to mention that it's pinless but we'll see i'll keep saying that until i am 100 percent sure we're not seeing pinned again uh he's got the wrist swivel rotation on the left He's got the uh, vertical uh, hinge on the right is uh, also vertical hinge. So we got it going on there. He's got uh, a waist uh, swivel ball joint there. So you see, you get all of that motion going on. So he can go forward uh, basically that much, rear that much. It's combination. It's He's got a crunch in there. See if I can lift that up so you can see it. Uh, you can see the lines. There is a crunch in there. You use that in conjunction with that ball 
that waist ball swivel. So it gets you this much on bending over and bending back. And of course he can lean with it, rock with it side to side. And of course, swivel left and right hips. He can Van Damme it. Pretty cool. They drop down. You can kick 90, go back like that. He's got the thigh cut. He's got the double jointed pinless knees. Once again, I'll keep saying that until I am uh, assured and uh, uh, secure that uh, we won't have to worry about the pin stuff again. He's got a rotation at the boot, so they swivel like that. And of course, he can point the toe that far forward, that far up. He's got ankle pivot and he's got holes for uh, posing at the bottom of his feet. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty good figure here. My man Torch. My man Torch, what do you guys think? I'm uh, uh, definitely liking this. This is definitely nice for a multitude of reasons. We've completed our triumvirate of the uh, Dreadnought main three. And uh, for me, this is the best looking of the three and definitely the most functional in my estimation. Uh, yeah, just an all-around good figure. Number 123, Dreadnought Torch. Here we've got Torch fully equipped with his uh, weapon of choice in hand and I've got one of the accessories there at the muzzle. Uh, this would be basically when uh, either before or after he's fired the weapon. Here's the accessory where he's basically emitting a, uh, I would call it like a uh, more of a ball of fire, big, big energy uh, of fire burst. And here's the more you know, straight away sweeping kind of motion. I think this is uh, for uh, like distance, a distance uh, effect in terms of when he uh, shoots, when he fires his weapon. And here's what we've been waiting for for a minute from Hasbro. A shot of all three Dreadnoughts together. You have got Buzzer on our left and Ripper on our right. Both of them flanking our boy, our man of the hour, Dreadnought Torch. So what do you guys think? Worth the wait? Took a minute to get the third member of the uh, core trio for the Dreadnought crew. We had Ripper, we had Buzzer, and now we've got Torch. So uh, what do you guys think? Was it worth the wait? I think it was. I think Torch is the, uh, the best looking figure out of the three. I'm loving uh, the whole aesthetic. That vest is just bananas. Um, I love that uh, we got the uh, the silver uh, paint apps on that vest, including with the chains. Uh, what I do not like is we got uh, plastic looking uh, wrist chains. You know what I'm saying? That uh, bracelet chains, that, that looks, uh, it would have looked whack on its own, but then when you look at them up against all of the silver that this figure is sporting, that just kills it all off. I love the uh, his torch accessories, the uh, the different flame effects that we have there. Uh, that effect that you see on his uh, sidearm, that is a third-party effect that I just uh, utilized for this outgoing shot. I love that uh, the uh, shades, his sunglasses are sculpted in, so we don't have any issues with uh, them dropping off, especially when you're trying to get your figure into poses. Uh, that's one less headache to worry about, so that's pretty cool. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, we got the, the three core members of uh, the uh, Dreadnought crew, but uh, I can tell you right now, we're still not finished. And you'll know what I'm talking about when you see me again. So uh, you know what to do down below. Give, leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this figure. What else you want to see. It's, it's uh, 123, number 3 out of the Dreadnoughts. New packaging. And uh, slightly, slightly different format for the reviews. So uh, we'll see what's going on going forward. So until next time, take care. And... Uh, Let's take a look at our boy, Torch, as he swings around one final time. Take care, guys. Peace.